What a nice little fish here. Took him on my little sun perch there. I got him safely by the jaw so he can't hurt himself or me. You can see his teeth in there. Pretty sharp. Alright, let's unhook him and let him go. He's dogging it. All the ducks coming. It's a good fish here. Now I got real light line. I gotta tire him out a little bit and I'll get him in. There's a nice one from the canal. Big pickle this time. That's a beauty. I had it on, I had it on pretty light gear and it was a high bank. Oh, easy, easy, easy. It was a high bank. I had to actually crawl down the bank to, to bring him in, but he's pretty tired now. I gotta let him go. There he is, that's a beauty. Well pleased with that fish. All right, fish, let's go. Let's put him back. Apparently a mallard hangout. Yeah, duck season's coming soon enough. That oh, man, there's lots of them in there. Hens and drakes. I had three fish follow my lure right to the bank. They're sitting right underneath me. Go figure. Well, there it is. I told you I was gonna get one on the golf fish. <laughs> there he goes. I told you I was gonna get one on the golf fish. There it is. Got him. Okay, there it is. The river to sea golf fish does work. Got that little pike on it, unhook them, let him go. Grow up and fight another day. Obviously he he liked eating goldfish, I guess. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's, that, that's a fun lure to fish with. Have it on ultra light gear, four pound line. Well, of course I still have the wire chase. All right, let's go see what, we, what else we can get. What a great day of fishing that was. I think I'm pretty sure I took my personal best fish from a canal for a chain pickerel. And I caught one on a goldfish. Can't go wrong with that. See here, it's starting to get lighter in the year. The leaves are starting to turn. Let's see if I give you a shot of the river here behind me. There you go. Now 
it's time to go home. Well pleased with that catch. Got that, that pickerel on uh, a little sun bass I had in my mini pike video. He absolutely engulfed it. I watched him take it. Uh, something I remember from a kid, uh, the same thing. One of the first pike I ever caught back in Ireland, uh, I was using a small map spinner with a little rubber minnow behind it. It's one of the, it's, the bait came like that. I didn't modify it or anything. And uh, I was fishing in crystal clear water in the Grand Canal. And I rem I'll never forget it when I seen it, that I, I was retrieving the lure back through the water and the water is like gin clear. And uh, I could actually see the pike come up and he inhaled the bait. He just took it right away. And uh, I, I never forgot that. And that's, that's been a long, long time ago. And today it was the same thing with that big, that big chain pickerel. Uh, I was watching the minnow come across the, the edge of the canal and he just came up from the bottom. I drew it over his head. I couldn't see him. He, I didn't see that he was there, but I drew the minnow over his head and uh, he came right up behind and just, I mean, opened his mouth and inhaled it and I could see it all, you know, could see the whole thing unfold in front of me. So uh, that was really cool. But uh, that's a little, little sun, that little sun perch seems to do the job. Just done the job today. I almost had to get into the water to get him out because uh, I was using really light line. I had four pound line and I had a trace and stuff on it so I wasn't worried about the trace breaking but I had pretty light mono on it. But uh, I climbed down the bank and I got him out but it was well worth it. I'd have got into the water to get that fish out. I wouldn't have an issue with that but it was well worth it. Alright we'll see you on the next video.